Hello, this is Olivia. I'm the founder of the Academy of Botanical Art, sharing art tips with you today from our program, 10 Steps, A Course in Botanical Art and Illustration. Today's tip is all about color bias. Hello, today we're looking at a color bias study. And color bias refers to the fact that there isn't a true color. There color that leans one way or the other. So, for example, red would be a violety red or an orangey red. So here we have a violety red. And here we have an orangey red. And when you take those two reds and you mix them with a violety blue and an orangey blue, I'm sorry, a greenish blue, you end up with different purples. And as you can see in the chart here, we end up with four different purples. A bright purple, a mid-range, a mid-range, and a dull purple. And so what we have down here are the mixes that have been created. So here is our bright purple that was created by mixing the violety red and the violety blue. And then here we have the mid-range purple that was created by mixing the orangey red and the violety blue. And then here we have another mid-range purple that was created by the violety red and the greenish, which is here, this greenish blue. And then finally we have the dull purple that was created by mixing the orangey red and the greenish blue. So, and this is just an example of what happens when we start mixing paints and we forget that we're not working with the bias. And one of the things you have to understand is that the colors will start canceling each other out. Uh, and that's the cause for the paint going from bright to dull. Thank you for joining us. To learn more about the Academy, visit us online, academyofbotanicalart.com.